everyone, I'm Lisa the Librarian, and I love to welcome you into the wonderful world of books. Today, we'll be reading the story, Pete the Cat, an Easter adventure by Kimberly and James Dean. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the story. Pete was excited. Easter was here. He couldn't wait for his basket of goodies. Jelly beans were his favorite. Uh-oh, his basket was empty, except for a note. Pete, please help. Find the eggs. Paint the eggs. Hide the eggs. Thanks, the Easter Bunny. P.S. Wear these. Pete put on the bunny ears and thought, a cat with ears like a bunny? Now that's funny. Happy Easter, chickens! Do you have any eggs today? Pete asked. I am helping the Easter Bunny. Sure, Pete, we have lots of eggs. The chickens said, we are happy to help, but don't you need a bunny nose and fluffy bunny tail? The chickens were right. A bunny nose and tail would be neat. Then Pete's costume would be complete. Pete put on the nose and tail like a bunny's. A cat dressed up like a bunny? Now that's funny. Now Pete was ready. It was getting late and he still had a lot of eggs to decorate. What colors would Pete use? Hop, hop, hop! Off to the tool shed for paint and brushes. Pete couldn't wait to paint the eggs. Some eggs had one color, some eggs had two. Some eggs were red and some eggs were blue. When the egg painting was done, Pete had a basket full of bright, colorful, amazing eggs. Now hiding them, hmm, would be lots of fun. But where, oh where, would Pete hide the egg? Around the neighborhood for all his friends to find. Pete hid eggs in flower pots. He hid them in the water spout. And when he was done hiding the eggs, Pete the cat was all worn out. Pete's job was done. He was hiding the last one. When the Easter Bunny arrived. Great job, Pete! You were a big help, said the Easter Bunny. The Easter Bunny gave Pete an award for a job well done. Helping others can be lots of fun. Happy Easter, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this story. I know I did. And make sure that you have a very, very happy Easter. See you next time.